Understanding vein graft, a key term in medicine. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're diving into a medical phrase that you might have come across if you're interested in health-related topics. We'll unpack the term vein graft. Whether you're a student, a professional, or just curious about medical English, this video will clarify what this phrase means and how it's used. So, let's get started. The term vein graft might sound complex, but let's break it down. A graft in medical terms refers to a piece of living tissue that is transplanted surgically. A vein, as many of you might know, is a type of blood vessel that carries blood towards the heart. When we talk about a vein graft, we are referring to a surgical procedure where a vein is taken from one part of the body and transplanted to another part where a damaged blood vessel needs to be replaced or bypassed. So why might someone need a vein graft? This procedure is often related to heart surgeries, such as coronary artery bypass surgery. When the arteries of the heart are blocked or damaged, a vein graft is used to reroute the blood flow around the blocked section. This helps to restore adequate blood supply to the heart muscle. Vein grafts can also be used in other parts of the body where blood flow needs to be improved or restored. There are different types of vein grafts, and the selection depends on the location and the specific needs of the patient. The most common type of vein used for grafting in heart surgery is the saphenous vein from the leg. Other types include the radial artery from the arm or even parts of the internal mammary artery from the chest wall. If you're wondering what happens during a vein graft procedure, let's go over it briefly. The surgery involves taking a vein from the leg, arm, or chest and attaching it to the coronary artery before and after the blockage. This process is done under general anesthesia and requires a hospital stay. After the surgery, recovery plays a crucial role. Patients are typically required to have follow-up visits with their doctor, take prescribed medications, and sometimes participate in cardiac rehabilitation programs. The success of a vein graft can greatly improve the quality of life and has a significant impact on the patient's health. We've reached the end of our discussion on the phrase, vein graft. It's remarkable how two simple words can encompass such a vital medical procedure. I hope this video has helped clarify what a vein graft is and why it's used. Stay tuned for more insightful videos on English language learning. Remember, understanding these terms not only expands your vocabulary but also your knowledge of how they apply in real-world contexts. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one!